everyone. Today we are making a very simple single color soap, but it's also one of my favorites. Uh, we're going to be working on Dragon's Blood today. So I've got my fragrance, um, my Dragon's Blood extract mixed into French red clay here. And that is all I'm going to be using for colorant. Um, and then I've got the extract and fragrance in there. And I've got my prepared oils and my lye water. And then once this is all done and put together, then all we need to do is sculpt the top. So let's get started and uh, we can see what this is gonna look like. Again, like I said, this is one of my favorites. I do love this soap. <laughs> Mm, I've still got some separation there. I'm soaping a little cooler than I normally do, so I don't want to end up with false trays because that happens when you soak cool. So I just want to make sure that this is uh, really well emulsified. Having a thicker batter isn't a problem when you're working with a single color though, so it's not a problem at all. All right, so we have our soap batter here. Everything is emulsified and ready to go. And then all we need to do is add our fragrance oil slurry. In this, I think I already told you, we have our colorant, which is French red clay. That's what will give it its reddish color. We have Dragon's Blood Extract, which is really really nice there's lots of um, skin loving benefits to dragon's blood extract um, and we have a fragrance oil I uh, go with a fragrance oil for this because you can't get dragon's blood essential oil you can get resin but 
I don't care for it quite as much. So we'll get this poured into the mold. Excuse the noise. As always, I am not alone in the house. So you're hearing the usual household sounds for this house. TV in the background while my mom watches it. Dogs running around. Not in this room though. I make sure that I'm not in the same room as the dogs when I'm when I'm soaping. There we go. And this is the fun part. I uh, do something a little different with this than I do with any of my other soaps. I sculpt with a fork for starters, and then I put in an infinity swirl. So it has a rather unique texture by the time I'm done. This is Dragon's Blood. I'll wipe my sides. And I'll bring you in for a close up. There we go. And I will bring you back when I cut. And that'll be sometime tomorrow. So we'll see what it looks like on the inside. We'll see how this color changes as well, because it will change. So right now it's fairly light, and by the time I cut it, it'll be darker. So we'll see you tomorrow. Hey everyone. So this is the Dragon's Breath. You can see the white See the white on top here? It's what you call soda ash. And I think it looks absolutely stunning on this bar. Normally I don't like it, but on these bars, I really, really like it because it gives some character, it gives, it gives some um, different shades. And that's what the inside looks like. So it's just a nice gentle red on the inside. So let's give this a cut and we'll go through the bars and see what we can come up with. There we are. Now, if you look carefully, I don't know if you can notice, the darker color around the edges and the bar will turn that shade. So it'll end up darkening up, which is fine. I actually intend for that to happen and I plan for it. These here smell absolutely amazing. And with the dra and the Dragon's Blood extract that's in it is just makes for a really nice bar of soap.
And my sample bars. There's six of them. So if you have an idea of the different soaps that you would like to have a try of, like if, say for instance, you'd like to try the birch and the Luck of the Irish and the Dandelion and the Dragon's Breath and maybe one of the St. Patrick's Day soaps or possibly an Easter soap, you can send me a message and ask and let me know which ones you'd like to try. I will put together a sample pack for you. I will weigh them all so that each of the samples that you get will equal a full bar of soap and you, you have five six possibly seven different soaps to try and that way you can make a better educated guess as to which ones you'd like okay so this is a fully cured bar of dragon's breath soap so this bar was made a couple of months probably three or four months ago and this bar was made a few days ago. Now you can see the way they shrink. That's getting rid of any of the water weight. See the difference there? So this here is light right now because there's still a lot of water in here. Whereas this is, this is a bar of soap that is ready to sell. This is a bar of soap that I've just made. Now you can see the difference and why I need the cure time because this here is fairly soft. I will grab one of the samples so that I can show you. Okay, it's soft. Like, I mean, I can bend that, see? It's bendable, it's soft. Whereas this is quite hard. So that's the reason for the cure. And then I put the band over top of it like that. Once they're cured, I band them and they're ready to go. So anyway, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing that. It really helps the channel out so that we can uh, continue to, um, know that people are actually enjoying these videos so i really appreciate your time getting through this soap with me and you have yourself a wonderful day evening night whatever time zone you happen to be in and we'll see you again the next time take care